All right, one of my viewers asked me to explain snapping and magnetics a little bit more thoroughly. So what I have here is a project with three layers on it from Pixabay. I got all three of these images from there. And what we're going to do is go over exactly what snapping and magnetics are. So snapping allows you to move an object and have it snap to the other objects instead of just floating around free like this. Magnetics allows you to follow your grid lines for whatever it is you're doing. So what I've got is I've got this picture here that I want to align with the bottom of this picture here. Whoops. And then I want to fit the third picture up here at this corner so that it's not overlapping anything. We go over here to the transform tool. And then if we look down here where it says snapping and tap on that, snapping is on, but nothing's showing there. And that's because we have distance and velocity. Distance controls the diff distance in pixels in order for your object to snap to it. And the velocity is how fast you have to go in order to avoid that distance. So if I set the distance here to 20 and try to move this object, nothing's going to happen. And that is because the velocity is set to none. If we change this velocity to 1.6, which is where I like it, and then we move this object, if we move slowly, you'll see these lines appearing. And let's make life easy. I'm going to turn off these other two layers. And you can see this yellow line here, and this one here. This yellow line is snapping from left to right, and this one is the snapping up and down. If we turn another picture on here, I'm going to turn on layer 1 so that it is now visible. And we move our object. You will see that you can get this blue line, which is the snap to object line. So you've got this yellow line here, which is the center of the canvas. And this blue line, which in this case is the bottom of this other picture. And you can snap to the middle of the other picture, the top of the other picture, or the bottom. Just like you can on the major canvas here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap this down here to this, and then I'm going to move it over here. And you can see that while I'm moving, it jumps between these two here, and that's because of the pixel distance. If I turn magnetics on, then what this does is it allows me to snap more smoothly. So even if my cursor or my stylus moves around a lot, you can actually see this blue line right here that shows which direction I'm moving in. And it will go in many different directions. So that's what magnetics does. Is it's left, right, up, down, 45 degree angle, 15 degree angle, all that good stuff.
Let's turn on picture one again. And I'm going to align this to the bottom of its picture. And I'm going to make sure that it slides over here. You notice how it jumps to the edge there. That's the distance again. If I want it to be halfway between there before it snaps, then I simply come over here to snapping and change the distance to 10. Now, whenever it's going, I can get it closer to the edge before it snaps. And there we go. Now let's take layer 3. And what I want to do with it is I want to move it so that it matches the edge of this. And then I want to resize it so it matches the edge at the top of this one. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to match it right there. You see that blue line right here? This is the one that shows that it is matching the edge for the architecture drawing. And then if I move it this direction, you now add a line here, which shows that it is aligned to the picture here in this bottom left corner. So now I'm going to grab this handle right here at the bottom right, I'm going to resize this way. See how it snaps here? It's now equal with the draw with the architecture. We do this, and it's equal with the picture. And then I'm going to do this a little bit, and this blue line right here shows that I am actually in the middle of this architectural drawing picture. So now I've got it snapped to exactly where I want it to go, and it's nice and even. And I can show my client, okay, this is a church. Here's the blueprints. Here's an elevation of the inside. And this is the block in the city that we're going to tear down to build this church. Once again, we have... The distance, which is how many pixels away you have to be before it snaps. We have a velocity, which is how fast you need to go in order for the lines not to matter. And we have magnetics, which basically forces your picture to go along specific lines. All right. I hope this helps you out, and I hope you have a wonderful day.